the next we can make a teapot so come here I, I'm gonna use a bezier curve make it a little bit smaller I press numpad slash to focus on this object only press R and Y 90 degrees press R and Z 90 oh no I come here set it to the bound and global now if you press R and uh, right Z press tab go to the tab and as we did before uh, we press this guy come here add a modifier screw modifier and X axis so I press tab again G and Y axis and X axis I'm sorry so um, we can by the tweak we can grab this guy okay and then extrude it press uh, S and 0 0 on your arm pad so and again here come select this guy uh, this point of curves and V vector drag this if you drag this so it will go a little bit fast but if you drag uh, with this tweak drag it and uh, at the same time hold down shift it will move smoother very smooth so it's okay right now so and as well here so I press uh, control 7 and merge click on the merge to close press uh, G and X and it will close the bottom right here and this is detail nobody gonna see but for our course or for our tutorials it is great to know so again come here press sh uh, shift s selection to cursor or now this this cursor right now is in the middle so what i can do is that I'm getting a copy so press from this vertex press shift and D now I have a copy from this and by this setting press S to scale it and now I'm gonna model a, a head for this teapot so press here press E to extrude and grab this turn it like so zoom zoom a little bit so click again extrude by e and that is finished for this um head of this guy so grab all press s to scale g to z to come here and press again g z go up a little bit you can come here or press here e again and make it a smaller and to control it a little bit easily press V set the handle type as vector vector is very useful in this case so grab this guy again and make it as it was 
and from here go go to the wireframe mode until you see so rotate it and this is your Can come here, make those value, and tweak those handle a little bit. So, what I can do is come to the face mode and select by select one of these because this is separate from the uh, body from its body. So press one. Now you can hide those by pressing H. Now we can go and see in, inside. Side. It's okay. Press 1. Come here. Like so. And press Alt H to unhide that. So press again numpad slash this is huge, we'll make it a little bit smaller, but we are not, oh, what I did, uh, Control alt h G to grab that, so, now we need a handle for this. So press again, numpad slash, press one to see from the side. Come here and add again a Bezier curve. Press it down until make or make a small thing. Delete one of those. So we have only one. Oh, and come here without to come here this time I will work only on the um, curve itself and not by the modifier so come here press E to extrude press E to extrude press E again and like that Okay. So come to the geometry. You see depth. If you increase. Oh what this is a, this is weird. So press S S S and Y. If, if you press while you are looking from this uh, side, one side, for example, from the uh, minus x, minus y, uh, I'm sorry. And if you press, you come here, if you press s for a scale and y, you see, it will fix everything for us. Or in some case, press, for example, S and X to flat it on the, the X or uh, in the Y axis or in the Z axis. So when you when we press S and then the axis name and press zero, it will, and press zero, it will uh, flat or make it perfect way. So come here, I select this and press hold S, hold, I'm holding Alt. So what we can do is grab this uh, thing from here, this vertex, the middle, press Alt and S, Alt and S, it will only make bigger or smaller that. Uh, vertex. 
So come here, grab those, press Alt this to make it a little bit smaller and grab it like so. And of course you can play around with this handle as well. So Alt is for make small or bigger the vertex in the curve mode or in the curve setting. So you see the object data properties for the curves. So that's okay guys. Not perfect. We can work a little bit more. For example, if I set it on the vector, now it's much better. So press uh, convert to mesh. And again, convert to mesh. We hold down shift and left click and press uh, control J to merge those. Come here, set origin. This is the origin point, which is right here. If you scale, you see that it is scale according to that point. So come here, set origin to the um, cursor. Here we have the cursor right at the bottom. That's very good. So press numpad slash to get uh, everything. Oh, one thing we we miss we miss here. <laughs> so click and turn it back. Click. So we have something miss here. We missed something here. So press three to go to the face, or even from here, we can extrude. Extrude like that, and uh, by press X, as you see, press X and face to delete those faces. Auto smooth here, shade smooth. Uh, press one, uh, two to make to get this edge, and G in Z axis, and uh, as well, press one. Grab this point, look from the side, press on uh, number one on the numpad, keyboard. So again, not one. Go to the wireframe mode, grab those guys as well. Okay. And as well as here. here. Press it downward a little bit. Okay, that's good. Press now by the slash again. Come here. So, this is maybe Asian teapot. Maybe. Okay, now I will add an, again, come here, we increase it, uh, make it bigger, press GZ, press numpad period, period key to zoom, so a three to make it and extrude inside. Uh, press 3 to make it selection, hold down Alt, select the faces, extrude it outward or upward, like, like so. Ctrl A to apply all the uh, transforms, apply all transforms. So come here. Press tab, 
one, uh, two, I'm sorry, then two to grab those edges. Control B to give it some bevel. Okay, as well here. Control B to make some bevel. And here we need some loop knot. Uh, by holding by holding alt scale it inside and grab those right here press G and Z and now control B to bevel so what do we get here And even you come here, press modifier, subdivision modifier, or if you select the object, press control one or two. If you press two, it will automatically apply two levels, like so. Or even for this guy here, control one, it's okay. It will add a subdivision modifier. So now that we have those, 